But that's the other thing is uh, I I talked to Schultz about this. I think when the Miller Light ad came out, he's like, "Look, I get it. Women started brewing first, but can't we just have fun? Can't we just enjoy beer?" That's the real problem with the ads. It's not like I don't think a lot of people are like fuck women, put them in bikinis. Ah, it's just like I, I'm just getting lectured here about a fucking poison that I want to drink to forget about my <laughs> job. You yeah. know? Well, it's. I think one of the main problems people have is they just seem like such humorless pricks. Yes, yes, exactly. You're not charming. No, not charming. And for the people that haven't seen, especially the British people, haven't seen this Miller Light ad. It was basically snuck in under the radar. At the same time as the Dylan Mulvaney thing. Mm-hmm. And I think it the lady that's presenting it is maybe an LGBT person too. Yeah. And she's walking through a museum and saying, women brewed beer, and how did we reward them? We rewarded them by putting them in bikinis, and it cuts to a 1990s ad of two girls mud wrestling in yes. the middle of the street. And it's like, you buy a Miller Lite and you're into girls mud wrestling or whatever, which is true. People yeah. that drink Miller Lite probably are yeah. into that sort of stuff. And then the lady's t- castigating anybody that thinks that's cool and is like, we're committed to changing the... And you just think... I-, I think a lot of things. First off, I think, how fucking tone-deaf do you need to be about your own audience? Yeah. How fucking confident do you need to be in your share price and your sales figures? Ooh, yeah. And how little fun are you? Exactly. Like, so humorless. I know. Like, why can't uh, progressiveness and inclusiveness be fun, too? Like what? Also, not to be this guy, but what's so bad about bikinis? Like, aren't all these women on OnlyFans very empowering? You know, I thought that was empowering. Like, hey, we're taking our sexuality back. We we make money on it. We do what we want. That's empowering. I'm allowed to objectify myself, but you're not allowed to objectify me. I guess, but it's not like we we tased a woman and knocked her out and put her in a burlap sack and then said, you're in this bikini commercial or we'll kill you. You know, she, I'm sure thousands of women auditioned and were like, I got it. I got the Miller Lite ad with the twins. Well, do you remember Diet Coke? That Yes, the buff guy. Of all of the, the women looking out over that. No guy, not I'm one looking, guy complained about I'm, that. I'm looking forward to becoming skinny fat in middle age <laughs> and being able to point at that and say, that was what caused me to <laughs> lose my gains. I was objectified. I didn't want to be seen as a sex object, yeah. not just a piece of meat. It, it's so funny how bad I want to be objectified. I would love a woman to objectify me, <laughs> but I guess it's a uh, supply and demand. They get it so much that they're like, I'm annoyed. I've got no objectification left to give, Mark, I'm afraid. Yeah, there's no more. Yeah, it's uh, it's so fucking weird, man. I just, I really hope that we're around the corner from something that's going to be different in terms of like cultural memes because i'm kind of exhausted of it as well Well, i think i think a lot of people are and i think it's almost like a fever breaking like these bud light and miller light and the starbucks and the the starbucks thing the starbucks is it's pretty great it's a old indian guy and he gets a call from his son so it's uh, the sun pops up on the screen and he's like ah damn and then in comes his new daughter so that the son transitioned so the daughter comes in and he's like motherfucker you know he's all angry and the mom's like come on be nice and he's like, you know what? You're right. Let's get a coffee. And that's the ad. So he's accepted his trans daughter. They bond over going to Starbucks. Yes, exactly. But it's just so forced. And I think it's great that he's accepting his trans daughter. That's great. And it's I'm all for the love and everything. I want everybody to get along. This fake Indian man is accepting his fake yes, Indian, yes. Indian trans daughter. Exactly. To then go and shamelessly shill a multi-billion dollar Yes. Enterprise. Exactly. And my, my joke was he's, I think he's really mad because his brother did the operation, you know, <laughs> the, the Indian doctor. But yeah, I, I just think it, it just feels forced. And again, why can't it be a funny ad? Like, if, I, it's cool with trans person, a person transitioning, but like, make it fun. Why does it have to be so somber and, and uh, educational? Dude, the Miller Light, uh, the Bud Light thing, they're releasing, I saw this earlier on. Bud Light is set to launch a line of camouflage aluminium bottles that promote the Folds of Honor program, which provides educational scholarships for families of fallen and disabled American military service members and first responders, the New York Post uh, reported. So basically, there is just this permanent flip-flop between the two. Now, the Bud Light thing, the relatively very unpopular opinion for me to say, I feel bad for Bud Light because that was evidently a small influencer campaign mm-hmm. that some portion, some 
advertising exec somewhere that's not in no position but isn't the fucking owner mm. right and isn't the shareholders and isn't the, all of the people that do most of the things some small portion that didn't have sufficient oversight mm. decided that they were just going to chuck this set of cans to Dylan Mulvaney yeah. not realizing how badly it was going to go down mm-hmm. and now two huge big dick marketing execs have been fired this has been halted and now they're trying to do all of this backtracking stuff so even within that and I don't think that Dylan Mulvaney is going to tap into the core demographic of Bud Light sure. drinkers. Even within that, what you see is the desire for people on both sides of the fence to become offended. Like immediately, yes, yes. you want to have this knee-jerk reaction to be able to go, see, see this fucking woke washing, these cooked fucking leftist organizer. They, yeah. they took our beer. Exactly. Like they took everything. And I don't deny that it's a fucking shitty idea. It's a shitty advertising campaign that doesn't target the right people, and I don't think that Dylan Mulvaney should have been used. But I do also think that going, does this represent, uh, how long's Bud Light been around? Probably fucking forever, right? Is this really, oh, finally, here's the mask off that shows of not, that yeah. they were the America-hating, leftist, cook, CCP-sympathizing bastards that we thought of all along? Well, you say that if somebody says one accidentally, slightly un- untoward racist thing, that that doesn't color their entire history. Aha! Uh-huh. But you're not necessarily prepared to give the same. That's good. That's good. Great of freedom to the other side. Great call. Great call. So you're saying to the to the people angry about the the new trans guy or trans lady being the sponsor, you can't just judge it all on one commercial. Yeah. Yeah, I, I completely agree. And if you like Bud Light, just keep drinking it. Bud Light's a good beer. It's a good beer, and it's very popular for uh, a reason. What was it? They had uh, the Bud Light has t- reportedly told wholesalers that it will buy back unsold cases of beer that are past their es- expiration date, uh, 23% down year-on-year sales last week. Wow. Uh, and they're doing um, camouflage print in an effort to boost sales. They're doing all sorts of stuff. So they're – I mean, fuck, dude, can you imagine being – I don't know who the CEO or the chief MD or whatever of Bud Light, and waking up one morning and going, uh, like, looking at your phone and being like, sir, we're trending. Oh, brilliant. brilliant. Uh, what, what, what for? Yeah. It's, like, it's not brilliant, sir. Right, right. <laughs> but what about the whole any press is good press? Is that just – is that a myth? Because this is the most press you can get. It's all we're talking about. It's all any – I mean, any comedy club, if someone's drinking a Bud Light, it's boom, yep. right to you, joke, yep. joke, joke. Yep. How can this not be good? Does Bud Light know something we don't know? And then every other beer company and Starbucks and all these other Dove are doing it. So is there something we're missing or or is this just a huge fuck up? I think it's a fuck up. Okay. Um, so I have a, a, a friend who has spent a lot of time doing e-commerce and they've split tested bigger girls and they've split tested girls that are fit. And he told me we have all of the data. Bigger girls don't sell clothes. Yeah. So when you look at Victoria's Secret, someone that's trying to undo their cis heteronormative, patriarchal, misogynistic presuppositions of what a woman's body shape is supposed to be like, they are paying a price with their top line and their bottom line. And eventually, some shareholder somewhere that owns fucking 15% of the company is going to look at a report and say, What's going on here? What's uh-huh. this? And you go, ah, oh, no, sir, it's this, you see, it's this really cool social movement that we're a part of at the moment. It's like, it's real, it's, it's super progressive. Yeah. Uh, it's very good, you know, for the the Gen Z, uh, 15 to 18 sort of left. And he's going to mm. say, get fucked. Where's, put the girls that sell clothes back yeah, on the website. Yeah, we need money. So there is some criticism, like, get woke, go broke. Uh, I have a friend that's done a shit ton of analysis on this. And, the Gillette ad from a few years ago didn't didn't impact long term didn't impact their positioning and a couple of others. I'd love him to run the stats back on these and see what happens longer term. I think really huge brands like a Bud Light or a Nike, Nike with uh, Colin Kaepernick, tons of people took offense to that campaign. Mm-hmm. You We're all wearing them. Nikes. Yeah, I'm wearing. Right? Them. I, I, I wear them every single day. Yeah. First off, when it's a product, if the product's good. You kind of don't care. I don't care. And secondly, if it's a big enough brand over a long enough period of time, people forget. True. Like, you know, but like it may take them, it may take them five years, probably won't, but it may take them five years to get themselves back. And we realized that we made some mistakes with this thing and da, 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 da. 
and they'll, they'll be back selling beer soon, soon enough. I'm of sure. course, of course. It, it's a it's a fun blip in the whole thing, and we get to trash it and make fun of it. But I do appreciate the swing. They took a swing. They seemed like they were the first one to try it, and it was a big swing, and it fucked up. But sometimes you got to try a, a crazy idea, and sometimes it fucks up. Like like got milk. Got milk was huge. What's got milk? Got milk was this ad. Uh, milk was just going down in America. Everybody hated milk. It just people turned on it. Got milk was this one ad where a guy's eating a peanut butter sandwich and it's all close up and he's watching a movie and he's like, mm, mm, and the phone rings and he's like, oh, hello, and it's like. You've won the million dollar prize. Just got to answer this one question. And that whatever the question was, was about dinosaurs. And they show his wall and it's full of dinosaur posters. He knows everything about dinosaurs. He's got dioramas and all this shit. And he's like, and they're like, we can't understand you. You lost. And then it goes, got milk. Like a milk glass of milk would have gotten the food down. Right. Huge ad campaign. People had t-shirts, got milk. Just billboards said, got milk. Milk skyrocketed. It went through the roof, and it changed everything. <laughs> milk stocks had never been higher. Huge milk stocks. So I think Bud Light was like, it's so crazy it might just work. Mm. So I think you take a shot every now and then. That's kind of fun. Yeah, I I don't know, man. I, again, with the delivery, let's say that they'd – and this would be an interesting question to ask, you know, the most ardent – like Matt Walsh. I'd love to ask Matt Walsh. Hey, Matt, had it have been funny or entertaining? yeah. What would you have thought? Mm. Like, would it have been... Because we said, is there a joke that's so offensive that it should never be told? If it's funny, no. I agree. Right? So if an advert is entertaining and good, should it have not been put out? You go, well, there's probably some limits because it kind of creates uh, role model, you know, talking about kids and positioning and shit like that. But to what, 21 plus in this country, pretty much every state in order to be able to drink? Uh, so I don't know. It, had it have been had it been entertaining, but it was just yeah. I wondered. I wanted to find this out. Um, can you imagine how much you could sell a Dylan Mulvaney can of Bud Light for? Because there was only six pack of them that was yeah. ever created. If she started, oh, huge money, yeah, crazy. That's like that monkey NFT. You know, yes. that's gonna yes. be billions. The new board ape, yeah, hey, board the ape, board Dylan. Yeah, but I do think there is. They were tapping into something the right way. I think there's. Controversy can lead to huge numbers and huge sales. It's not like trans controversy when you're a beer brand. I guess not. But like Lil Nas X, you know that guy? The blood? Yeah, he's not gay, I heard. So he's I, not gay? He's not gay. It's just all uh, uh, adding on to his his brand. I'm Google this. Is Lil Nas X gay? And a lot of people hate him because he's gay. He's a devil guy. He's against conservative values, Christian values. Lil Nas X came out as gay, being the only artist to do so whilst having a number one record. But you're saying... I'm saying that was a, a branding move. Very smart. Marketing. Very smart. Lil Nas X came out as gay on the last day of Pride Month whilst he was number one. That seems... Feels very calculated. Lil Nas X says music industry wants LGBTQ plus artists to be gay without being gay. Aha! <laughs> this is pretty good. Now, I, this is just what I heard. I'm not saying Wants to be gay. more gay. Prove it. Lil yeah, Nas. blow me. Get yourself in here. Yeah. I saw him uh I saw him perform at Austin City Limits. Oh wow. Last year. Like that's one of those things. You know when you see you've been to see a ton of bands and the the shows are between 1000 and 2000 and it's like a ba- it's like a normal band, right? And then you go and see a performance like a little Nas X thing and the guy's sprinting off stage to do fucking costume changes uh-huh. and shit in between songs and it's all choreographed and there's yeah. dance numbers and then he comes out and he's on a harness and he's flying through the air and there's a helicopter and like all sorts of stuff. And you go, oh, okay, this is different. This yeah. is like, a, <laughs> yeah. this is something else. This is no longer a musical exactly. rendition. This is a fucking like, this is performance art. Right, right. And I think, I think what's genius about him is Bud Light, you have to go bud, buy Bud Light and people see you drink it at a bar and everybody makes fun of you. This you can put in your iPod and your, your earphones and you still sell the song. But you don't have to be seen with it. No public branding. Yeah. Did you see when Harry Potter first came out and it was super popular and people hadn't read it, but adults didn't want to be seen in public reading a children's book? Oh. They released adult covers of Harry Potter so that it looked less children Genius. Uh, so I wonder whether people are going to get koozies that they can <laughs> slot over their Bud Light. Yeah. It says uh, Corona. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, they should do this for kitty porn. Just put a, a, a an adult woman on the cover, 
<laughs> and then there you go. All right, that's my last kitty porn <laughs> pedophile joke because it's getting a little weird. What's happening, people? If you enjoyed that, then press here for the full unedited episode. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.